In this video, you will see the biography of Ruby Na Umafo, popularly known as Sen to be. Hi guys, welcome to Have It Celebrity Gist. On this channel, I post very detailed information about your favorite celebrities, so subscribe to get more updates. Let's start. Who is Sen to be? Sen to be is a Nollywood actor, producer, director, musician, athlete, philanthropist, and a Nigerian celebrity. He was born on 16th November 1965 in Port Harcourt, River State, but was raised in Jaws, Matu State. He died on 7th May 2023. As of 2023, when he died, Saint to be's real age was 57 years old. He hails from Ogwa in Baitolu local government area in Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. His parents are Mazi Melford Mwafo and Nolo Millicent Mwafo. Saint to be has eight sisters. Early life, the entertainer grew up in Jos Plateau State, Nigeria, where he obtained his primary, secondary, and university education. He was the only son of his parents' children. Saint to be attended Zhang Commercial School and later gained admission into the University of Jos, where he graduated with a degree in theater arts in 1991. He did his national youth service in Makodi. As a little boy, he was inspired by foreign movies to become an actor. Career. The actor came into the Nigerian film industry in Hollywood in 1995, but became very popular in 1996 after acting in the NTA TV commercial for Pijot and also in his debut movie titled Without Love. Tend to be produced his first movie titled Take Me to Mama in 2001. In this movie, he acted as Jerry alongside Rachel Oninga, Enebeli Elebuwa, and others. This movie was endorsed by Coca Cola and marketed by NTA. Sense is the founder and chief executive officer of AG White International Limited, a production, talent management, and public relations company established in Nigeria and the United States of America. Over the past few years, Sen to be reduced his appearances in movies from 10 per year to 6 and later to 1 movie per year. For him, what matters is how well you act, not how many times you appear in a movie. In an interview, he further explained that he had to move behind the scenes to make things work. As a director and producer, most people call him Mr. Quality because he pays attention to details and wants the best out of his work. During the production of his movie, Take Me to Mama, he gave out his Mercedes-Benz to make the bomb blast scene look very real. As a musician, he owns the record label, A.G. White Music Label. Sent released three new singles titled You and Me, Imagine, and Sarah Cote. Sent to be was also the resource person for the Good Luck slash Sambo presidential campaign organization. His company created and produced more than 15 television and radio commercials for the campaign organization. He also launched AG White Global Entertainment Network, AGEN, which was Africa's largest film distribution network with over 190,000 outlets, 4,800 in Nigeria across 55 countries globally. Before quitting acting, Sense had appeared in over 200 Nollywood movies. He quit to focus on production and the business side of filmmaking. Moving on guys, Sen to be was also an athlete. As an athlete, he represented Plateau State, Nigeria in football and basketball competitions. For his love of humanity, he was a philanthropist who also gave back to society. As a philanthropist, he founded a non-governmental organization named Sen to be Foundation SOF. This foundation surprised the people of Ogwa, a town in Imo State by grading their roads. Sent to be Foundation SOF is a platform that empowers people of all gender. The foundation visits schools and teaches the youth good values and the effect of living irresponsible lives. This organization also sank boreholes to provide clean water for rural dwellers and also built shops for them. Sent to be owns also owns a foundation that battles against the Osu outcast syndrome well known in many places in Igbo land and destroyed shrines to set the Igbo people free. He sent to be married. Yes, he got married to his ex-wife, Linda Amobi, best known as Linda Sent Mwafo, in December 2006 in Anambra State. And the marriage was blessed with three kids, two boys and a girl. The couple got divorced after 15 years of marriage. Linda, his ex-wife, works with MTN Nigeria as a general manager of planning and chief technical officer of the company. She is from Anambra State. To further proof of their divorce, his ex-wife changed his name from Linda Nwafo to his maiden name, Linda Amobi. Sent to be left the marriage because of the alleged near-death experience he suffered at the hands of his wife's brother. It was reported that he came in through the fence and tried to stab Sent in his left eye 
with a knife. Saint said that he does not know why his ex-wife's people see him as a gold digger. After all, he works and earns his own money and doesn't depend on his wife. Sadly, this was not the actor's first divorce because according to reports, Saint to be got first got married to the daughter of a Lagos-based pastor, but it ended in divorce many years ago. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, also click on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that you never miss our new videos. Talking about Saint Obi's girlfriend, nothing is heard of this. Moving on guys, let's talk about his net worth. Saint Obi is a very influential actor. He has an estimated net worth of $7 million. In 2014, Saint Obi bought a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon worth 50 million naira. Social life, the handsome actor had a heart of gold and was always ready to make the people around him feel good. He was down to earth, very humble to the core. Saint loved a very quiet and peaceful life. Some people said he was the shy type who only felt comfortable around a few friends. Speaking of Saint Obi's house, the popular actor built a palatial mansion in his hometown, Alayi Ogwa village in Baito, the local government area of Imo State. He built this to honor all his ancestors, his late parents, grandparents, and many others. This mansion is named Saint Obi's Park. He also built another mansion in Lagos. How did Saint Obi die? He died in one of his siblings' homes in Joss Plateau State on Sunday, 6 May 2023, after battling with an undisclosed sickness for a while. He had three surgeries, but his health was still bad. At some point, he told his mentor Zed and lamented for not seeing his children. Since the news of his death broke out, many celebrities like Stephanie Okereke and other colleagues in Hollywood have penned down many tributes to mourn his sudden exit. These were his last words to Chidi Chikere when he offered him three movie roles to act in. He said, T, I'll come to the USA and we will do big things. I want to relaunch myself with something big. Those were his words. Chidi said that he wasn't sounding like his usual old self and also declined and refused to act in the three movie roles. When the news of his demise came to the social media space, Chidi Chikere said he called his phone number to find out if he was if it was a lie but he didn't pick up these are some of saint obi's movies take me to mama narrow escape goodbye tomorrow last party wedding fever candlelight state of emergency if you'd like to get new updates on our new videos kindly subscribe and hit the post notification bell see other interesting videos here